This November, citizens across Minnesota will head to the polls to make an informed choice for president. But when they see all the other names on the ballot, they'll probably have a flashback to their high school SATs and end up filling in C for all the answers. Not to worry. Here at Minnesota Tonight, we'll be profiling a different Minnesota election each week. Tonight, Minnesota's second congressional district, home to Valley Fair, the Pine Island Cheese Festival, and the world-famous Jolly Green Giant. The second is one of only a handful of true swing districts in the country. Think of it like your grandmother's house at Thanksgiving, with your Bernie bro cousin and your Trump-supporting uncle glaring at each other over a plate of green beans. Since 2003, the district has been represented by Republican and baby bird waiting to be fed, John Klein, whose decision to step down this year makes this the only open congressional race in the state. Running for the Democrats is local businesswoman Angie Craig. While she's never held elected office before, she has had a successful career as an executive at St. Jude Medical, where she was engaged in health policy, government relations, and walking purposefully from one place to another. Craig is also the first openly gay candidate in Minnesota to be nominated by a major party. She and her wife have four sons who, like any teenagers, look like they'd rather be doing literally anything other than playing Scrabble with their parents. So who did the Republicans nominate to challenge Craig? That would be former conservative talk radio host and bargain bin Robert Redford, Jason Lewis. While Lewis is popular among his listeners, Minnesota Republicans expressed concerns that his career as talk radio's Mr. Right could provide his opponents with decades of damaging sound bites. We here at Minnesota Tonight wondered, how bad can these sound bites really be? Here to tell you how bad these sound bites can really be is Jason Lewis himself. You know, Reagan had amnesty, and after that, we lost the Hispanic vote. The problem is it's the fastest growing population in the country. The problem is if you don't make inroads, the dwindling white population, and by the way, it is cultural suicide. You've got a bunch of dinks running around, double income, no kids. And I don't want to make a racial thing out of this, so I'm just stating a fact, but white people are not having kids. Well, thank goodness he didn't make that into a racial thing. But while the second district is just 2.6% Hispanic, women make up more than half the district. While working at St. Jude Medical, Angie Craig launched a highly successful program to elevate more women to upper management positions. What does Jason Lewis have to say to these glass ceiling breakers? A, a vast majority of young single women who couldn't explain to you what GDP means. You know what they care about? They care about abortion. They care about abortion and gay marriage. They, they care about the view. They are non-thinking. That's right. Real solutions, like Lewis's call for a constitutional amendment allowing states to secede from the Union. You know, going forward. Basically, his point is that just because he said something horrible in the past doesn't mean he's going to put those words into action. Right, Jason? I'm Jason Lewis. Every day on the radio for 20 years, we've talked about solutions to our biggest problems. Now, it's time to put words into action. Wow, did we mention this race is still considered a toss-up? This has been Running Commentary, reminding you all to please, for the love of your mother's green bean hot dish, go vote. <laughs> Minnesota tonight. Tune in. Minnesota tonight. Tune in. Minnesota tonight. Tune in.